Hi everyone, so we have one third x minus a quarter x equals a half plus two. And the goal is to try to figure out what number do I plug in for x to make the equation true. So at the end, if I check this, um, sorry, at the end if I check this, um, I would plug in, uh, sorry, uh, one third, times parenthesis minus a quarter times parenthesis and that would equal a half plus two okay so and whatever number it has to be the same number I plug into here and, and both sides will be equal all right so let's go ahead and solve this then so we, we need to simplify the left and then simplify the right on the left we actually have like terms these are x terms so it's kind of like having you know if you had say something like you know 3x minus 2x that would make 1x so instead we have a third x minus a quarter x right so um, what we could do is we could make the bottoms the same five, because we're subtracting fractions so we could uh, find a common denominator so what would we do to find a common denominator right so to make the bottoms the same a com common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12, isn't it? So if you multiply 3 by 4 and multiply 4 by 3, you get 12. Or just make sure you have common factors on the bottoms here. So 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 4, okay? But I'm going to multiply that by 4 over 4 and that by 3 over 3. So that gives 4 twelfths x minus 3 twelfths x, okay? Now 4 twelfths x minus 3 twelfths x is just kind of like doing something like 5x minus um, 3x, you get 2x, right? So 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is in fact 1 twelfth. So we have 1 twelfth x on the left. And that's probably the part you might have got stuck on, right? Uh, on the right, you're adding a half plus 2. What do you do? Um, well, it might be nice to turn that into just one number, like a mixed number. Uh, put the 2 over 1 okay and then make a common denominator times that by 2 over 2 so that, that the 2 so that we have 1 half plus 4 halves 2 is the same thing as 4 halves 1 half plus 4 halves is 5 halves okay so what we've done is we've added like terms on both sides we had x terms on the left we had numbers on the right we added like terms and we get this now to get x on its own, we actually need to have 1x equal something, right? So multiply the 1 twelfth by 12 over 1 on both sides, okay? So this becomes, you know, 12 over 12x, or you can cross cancel the 12s. That's another way of thinking about it. And we get 1x equals... Now 5 times 12 is 60, 60 over 2 is 30, or you can go 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 12 goes 6 times. So we have 5 over 1 times 6 over 1, which is just 30. So 1x equals 30 over 1, or x equals 30 is the answer. Now if we go back to checking it, um, the, the, what we said from the outset is that if I plug a particular number in for x in the original equation, then both sides will be the same. So we have 30, a third times 30 minus a quarter times 30 equals that. So a third times 30 is, you know, 30 over 3, which is uh, 10. I'll just write down 30 over 3 just to, to show the steps. And this is 30 over 1 times a quarter, that's 30 over 4. So we're just checking the answer here, checking. And this would be a good thing to do if you're ever taking a test, right? So check your answer. And remember we did a half plus 2 and we ended up with 5 over 2. Let's just leave that as 5 over 2. So this gives us 10 minus 30 over 4 became, becomes 15 over 2 equals 5 over 2. And that's 10 over 1, which times it by 2 over 2 becomes 20 over 2 minus 15 over 2, which becomes 5 over 2. So we have 5 over 2 on both sides. 